Hi there everybody, welcome to virtualpool4blog.com We're playing 9-ball career today against me, my own version of the game so let's see how how I get on today uh, on this match Should be a match that I win fairly easily, I've dry broken there unfortunately but against my own version of the VP3, VP4 uh, player I normally do okay, so I would expect to win sort of 11 5, 11 6. Uh, if I play well, Ooh, nearly went in off there. Try the double, might get the treble. Ah, I hit the, hit the green. So, um, first chance to the other me. Now my own computer player is on occasion capable of knocking in some some really nice clearances, but what I found the last time was it tends to go in off too much. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so that should be gifting the gifts a few racks and uh when you count up these errors and you sort of change the score around that if he'd have won my, uh, those games where I'd have won because of that enough, then it usually swings a match. Which is why enoughs are so irritating. Anyway, first rack to me. That one looks like it's going in. So this could be a first rack trying to hit the five here. Oh, I've missed it. Have I left it on? Might be able to swerve around this one. Yeah, that was okay. Problem is it leaves you with a tough four ball. But I can try and double it. Uh, not that far away, but missed it anyway. Trying to play a snooker here, which is quite intricate. That's a good shot because it was not easy to hit that um, to get it right. Anyway, let's get the jump cue out. Oh, I hit the top of the ball, but um, quite safe in the end. Probably should have potted that one. Tried to cut it, but didn't manage. And that leaves a, a good chance for this rack. Let's have a look. Um, A nice case made life very easy now. It's a delicate screw back for the eight, come kick back out for the, th the nine, doesn't matter which pocket. Although I would always recommend that you um, make a decision one way or the other, or quite often you end up in the middle. And then the nine ball for a 2 0 lead, which is very nice. So I'm controlling this match really well. for a shot on the one ball now I think if I just tap this in I can probably leave the two in the corner if I just play this softly so let's see what happens here now I'm going to try and pot this and come between the six and the, the red oh, I blew it um, right now I want to play I think probably put a bit of bottom on here try and scoop the, the one oh it's gone wrong too too thin. I'd have probably got it if I'd have hit it harder. It's a shame because the the white went really nicely. But anyway, he's going to, have to jump at it. It's a beautiful jump shot. Four ball or reach. Is he stuck on the five? Yes, he is. And mm, he's got the snooker. Not easy to get out of this. Probably got two cushions, but not easy to judge. Oh, we'll just scoot past it. There we go, two one. Nice run, so need to stamp the authority on this match. Breaks off, gets a nine moving, pots a few balls. 
a beautiful one. But oh, well, there's the enough again. Should be a gift of a rack as well, which 2 1 could be significant turning point there. What you should try and do is to make a note of a potential turning point. I think I would call that one a potential turning point because uh, it should have gone, the rack maybe should have gone the other, other direction. Oh, got over that one a bit. Let's check my emails. So we're three nil up, and that's an ugly rack. So I'm gonna play safe now, try and get a bit of distance between the white and the yellow, and that has worked out very nicely. Tough to get out of this one. It was nice that he opened up one of the bad balls though. But I still think playing safe is probably the best move. Try and get try and get right up behind the purple. This isn't the easiest one actually. Oh, I've gone it's gone wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that on. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Opened up the all the bad balls in one go, just nicked off the one, potted the two. So very nice indeed. So given a real opportunity. That's close to enough again, but it doesn't go down. That's gone wrong. Is he going to play the double? No, the safe. And that is no good. So we're going to roll this one in. A little bit of side. Oh dear. Took that one for granted a bit. That was a bad move. So first real mistake that I've made, I guess. Oh, is that going to make it? That's just all right. So for the. Yep, yeah, nice play. 22. We only myself to blame there. That was a bit unlucky. So we get first bite the charity in rack six. Try and kick. The no. Didn't do that one very well. Cut it in. There it goes. Oh, that one's a nice shot. So we've got a bit lucky there on the three. So we just need to troll, th trundle along past the eight. Try not to leave the white behind the eight. That's not as, yeah, that's okay. So now we want a nice hard hit, a bit of left hand side. Oh, wobbled it, but it, but it won. Oh, where's the white? Oof. Don't know if I'm on this. Oh, I am. That's lucky. Oh, and again, that's not good. So a bit of bottom here. Oops. Oh, got away with it again. Wow. That just brings into my mind, have you ever had a, a rack where you play your friend and um, you just keep getting good shot after good shot and you end up winning the rack and just watch the reaction. You know, it can really break an opponent when you put a really good, good rack in like that, like a really interesting one. Double attempt, just missed. Probably be my turn for a double attempt here. Ooh, missed that one as well. So 4-2. Um, I know Martin's a good example of that. I played uh, recently on the live one. He gets very upset if he's behind in a match. Um, starts smashing his cube out a bit and getting a bit excited. And sometimes he does that even when he's winning. So it's uh, I've tried to tell him that it's hard for him to win games when he's, when he's acting like that, you know. Anyway, let's... I missed the double, but the treble might just make it. Yes. I'm not the five up table, but I think I've got another double for the four ball. So let's keep going. I should be on the five, so this is just a case of... Uh, there, we, there it goes. And hold the white. So this looks like a 5-2, I think. The reason I gave the prediction before at 11-5 is because... 
I, as you know, I always play in sets of eight racks, so I'm looking for like a 5-3 or a 6-2. 7-1, 8 nil is nice, but you can only get five outcomes tonight. 8 nil, 7-1, 6-2, 5-3 or 4-4. Four, four. In either direction, obviously, so there's different, there's ten outcomes, really. Um, but only five scores. So you're always looking to be on the positive side of that. Um, against me, let's just pot this one, just to leave it difficult. I'm always looking for a 5-3 or a 6-2. Um, and a lot of people ask me, I got an email off somebody, nice shot. That's not easy, hang on, let's do this before I go back to that comment. That's rubbish. Um, I got asked, how come you always talk about stuff like 5-3 or 6-2, rather than sort of 7 one 8 nil win every rack? The reason I break it down is because if you win two sessions of 5-3, which is just nicking each one, you're actually 10-6 up. And in a race to 11, that's that's kind of significant. I think I might have jawed him here. Uh, is that? I don't know. I can get it. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of the logic. And I also know that you are going to lose racks when you when you play people who are who are decent. So thinking about the way that another in off, that's another bad one. So that could be the 6-2 for this one, which would be nice. Um, Good shot. Right. That should be 6 2. So, yeah, 6 2 first set. So, yeah, like I was saying, someone like Martin who gets upset if he loses racks, if he was kind of just thinking about it in terms of, well, that's a 6 2 or a 5 3, what I've noticed with on VP4 and VP3 when I played it was that if you thought about it that way, that doesn't actually upset you at all. It's just kind of the way that it is. Um, so, it's an interesting. Interesting way of approaching the game. Have a try of it because I used to get really bothered about score lines until I started thinking about it in terms of five, three, six, two. What you've got to try not to do, which is what it can be very tempting to do, um, as I knock a nice four ball in there, just keep a keep abreast of what's going on, is that sometimes you can, and this is actually coming out quite nice. Let's have a look at this just one second. Playing this rack quite nicely. I think this is going to be really good. Oh, I'm well happy with that. It's beautiful. Lovely rack. If you just go back and watch that rack again, that is a that's a really nice looking rack. Beautiful. That was seven two. That sets us up nicely. Um, yeah, if you. If you're happy with winning racks. I thought I was going to get the combo there. If you're happy about losing racks and it doesn't bother you, then you feel a lot better in the match. What you have to be careful not to do is to start thinking, right, it's 2-2, two -two, so the worst I can be is 6-2 is down. You've got to try and be positive. But it's nice just to sort of break matches down, especially long race games and sort of shorter sets in, in your mind, where if you win those sets, then everything works out okay. You'll notice I do that quite a lot in the Race to 100 series that's on the playlist where I played... Um, Swizzle, I think, raced to 100 and found that a lot of the games were very, very close. Oh, there you go. Nine just flew in. Seven, four, nine on the move again. Oh, no, not again. Right. Well. Now that could be, oh, this, this could be a chance. Combo on the four after this one. Well, I can play it now. Oof. Eight four. Now you think of oh, this could be seven five. It misses the two hits a nine, misses hits it again, and it just knocks it in. And that's really cool. So eight four. That could be a big turning point in a match. Just little things like that. If I'd have missed that, it goes seven five. Oh, I've gone in off, which is irritating. But all the balls are congregating at the side there. So, but if you look at the one, the two, it'll actually open up. So. It's nothing to worry about for him too much. See how he, how he gets on. Computer's starting to play better now, so it could be a could get to be a close finish. I've lost count of the amount of times that I've uh, 
Nice one. There you go. Five. Lost count the amount of times that I've um, been really ahead of the computer and then lost. <laughs> Never yeah, a nice feel. Although I did manage against, um, I think it was against uh, the, the Dazzler, which is Daryl Peach's character in the game. And a uh, very, very good computer opponent. And I was 9-2 down and feeling pretty bad about it. Just take care with this one because it's partially blocked. That should be okay now. A um, lot easier run out now. And I was playing this cut, I was 9-2 down and just thinking like, you know, I've just been hammered here, just absolutely annihilated. I already had a shot. I hadn't done anything wrong, he just cleared up literally nine racks. And I think I had broken run, uh, hit one a rack at some point, broken run another, and then he just absolutely destroyed me to 9-2. And I just got a few racks down. I think I got two racks where I just had the run of the rack and ran out. And I still thought, you know, I could lose 11-4 here and be completely uh, playing well. Which was ridiculous. It's just one of the things that can happen in nine ball, and I came back and won eleven two, eleven nine, which was amazing. Right, this has gone awkward. I think I might just pot the five. See what he wants to do. Right, it's going to pass. So I think the only thing I can do here is to double the yellow around the cushion, around the seven. Sorry, not leave it, leave it on the back cushion, but try to not hit it too hard where it goes over. The only problem is, and we're bringing the, the white to the left. Which means I might leave a pot into the corner where the seven is, but yeah, unfortunate. Oh, and that kiss has hurt me. Oh, second prize. No, didn't get enough spin on it. So that's a foul. So it's nine. 9-5, win this one 9-6, wouldn't like to see it get a 9-7, so I want to get on the hill pretty soon. I might get another chance in this one, it's not over yet. Well, it looks like it is now. That's the thing about my character on this game, if you do play it, oh, there goes a 9 again, is that you do kind of... The devil in the deep blue sea. You get a great clearance and then an in off, and it's it's all a bit weird. So the balls are all blocking themselves here. But there's like bits of puppets available. I think that does pass. I think that four also passes the eight. Very sort of half puppets, three quarter puppets here. You've got to be quite careful with the potting. That felt good. That's nice. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> Again, this could be a nicely ran rack. Oh dear. What did I do there? Oh dear. I can't swerve really. It'll have to be a jump, I think. So just a little jump over the over the eight. Oh, that's a really weird shot. I could easily jump off the table here. That'll do, that's a nice shot. Weird uh, weird shot on the seven there. Got away with it. Even an easy nine. That was a good run, considering you know nine seven would have been a bit hairy. But I've just managed to, when it counts in this match, do what's needed. So I can play a shot at nothing here, double up, and then hide behind the eight and nine. Sorry, the three and nine. If I uh, needed to, it leaves a jump shot. And there goes a really quality shot, but have I snooked myself? I had, but another good shot as well. This could be a nice, could be a close ending. Oh, the dreaded in off, eh? That could be, that should and should, couldn't should be the end. Although that wasn't very good, but I should still get this one. I don't really have to worry about position, but where the eight is. I'll have a shot regardless now, I think. So nice, just make sure that I don't do anything silly here. Oh, oh, well, what did I do there? Let's have another look. Speed it up. Wow, that was, that nearly was horrendous. Anyway, for the match, nine ball. Great stuff. So, 11-6 victory, pretty much as I expected. 